go ahead and ask the question. All right. Good question. And I understand what you said. Do you? Okay, yeah. so what you read is called a canon, right? It's called a canon. You, 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 you don't believe the Bible? And the Old Testament. Do you believe I the Bible? To, I used to believe it. So you don't? This you, is the you, question I'm giving you right now is going to explain to you. If okay. you can answer this question, it'll help you. Okay. So the New Testament and Old Testament, right? In the New Testament, the New Testament was written by the Jews, right? The Jews believed in a God. And give me the, the, give me the uh, uh, Bible dictionary. To where Jesus came. You know what I'm talking about? The same people who wrote the Bible New Bible Testament Bible don't Bible believe Bible in the Bible. Old Testament. Yeah, the Bible. Jews that wrote the Bible, they don't believe in the Christ and the Messiah that y'all talk about. This is study. Give me Revelation 2 and 9. Hold up, bro. Wait, hold up, bro. Hold up, hold up. Uh, yeah, I'm going on the King word, James. the Old Testament was Listen, added. You said the, Jew, the Jews wrote the New the Testament? Jewish. The, the Jewish, Jewish wrote the who wrote who, Adam and Eve. Where, where, where you get this information That's from? That's a creation story. Let me show you. Read it. Revelation two nine. Right? The book of Revelation, chapter two, verse nine. Listen up, brother. Listen up. We don't teach this up. The book, man, if you're I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which the, the, the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews, but are not, but, but are, are the synagogue the of Satan. So, I ain't so, about so, that, so, 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 I'm talking about the ones that wrote your word. No, no, listen, listen, bro. We're okay. gonna read to you. We're gonna read, read to you. Read to me, but answer this question. First commandment: I am the Lord their God. Thou shalt right. not put no other gods before thee. You're right. I am the God who brought you out the land of Egypt. That's Thou right. shalt not put no other gods before me. Right. But soon the New Testament you. come. Read the first read thing that. you do, you worship Jesus Christ. Hold on, wait, 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 I'm just saying, the first thing the you do, said, I am the Lord that God, I am the Lord that hey, God. Hey, are you going to listen, bro? Are you going to listen? Read that, bro. The King James Version Bible, page 86 of the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. The first commandment, I am the Lord that God. Hey, listen, bro, listen, bro. Hey, what you doing for your community out here? What you teach your community? Are you selling weed? No, I teach my community. Hold up, dog. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 what's your name, Fatty, what's your name? Hold on, hold on, why y'all trying to shut me up when I'm just What's your name, what's your name? Hey, brother, I ain't saying I want to hear, I want to hear from you. I'm Brian, I'm speaking on knowledge. Okay, I'm getting light, I'm getting light. You mentioned something about the first commandment, what was you talking about? I was just talking about, in the first commandment, it say, I am the Lord thy God. Who brought you out the land of Egypt? That's right. Thou should not put no other gods with an S. Okay. Now we're just singular. It's plural. Right, that's right. Meaning it's more than so-called one. If God want to talk about God, He letting you know now. Hey, don't put no other gods before me. I'm, I'm pre-warning you. I'm with you. I'm pre-warning. I'm letting you know there's other gods out here. Don't put them before me. Okay. I'm cool. I understand that. Give me. But a then when we get to the New Testament, that's when we done took God. Made a man and then slapped him in the face. I ain't got time. Hold on, for stop, it. stop. What you mean by that? Meaning, when Christ came, he became man. First of all, we made God man. We put him in flesh. We took his whole deity of being God, and then we slapped him in the face and told him to turn the other cheek and say, "Love thy enemy." You can't love your enemy in America. That's why we're around here the way we is now. Okay. Malcolm X been talking this stuff. Okay. The enemy been slapping us, and all we've been doing is praying to Jesus. Okay. And for 400 years plus. They still slapping us. Can I, now, now I'm letting you, you know get what I'm I'm, yeah, let, go ahead. I'm letting you get your fire out because I see you got a lot of fire yeah, in your yeah, chest. Because you love your people. I do. You I love your people. my people. That's I'm right. That's right. I ain't no I'm with else. you. I'm with you. Now, you mentioned about, hey, brother, brother, right here. Brother, right here. Come here for a second. Let me ask you a quick question. So, you mentioned about Jesus Christ saying, turn the other cheek. Right. And to love your enemies. Right. What enemies was he talking about? Well, at his time, he made. He had a lot of enemies. Let, let me, I'm, I'm asking, when, Christ said, enemies, when, when Jesus Christ said, love your enemies, was he talking about the white man that brought your people over here on slave shoes? Was he talking about him? Well, he went, mean, who, he, was he, he, who, who was that, our common enemy? That's what I'm saying. So he couldn't have been talking about this man that did this. Jesus, Because remember, when Jesus was walking the earth, who was ruling? The Romans. Mm -hmm. The Romans was the one put him to death. Right. So was, God, was Christ saying, love the Romans? He wasn't saying he wasn't saying. Who was he, he talking to? If a, your let, me show, let me show you. Watch this. Let me show you. The book of 1 Samuel, yeah. chapter 18, verse 29. This, is, yeah. what, this is where the understanding Christ was talking about. Because remember, Christ was in the Old Testament too. Christ ain't new. Christ was in the Old Testament from the What's very it? beginning. Hold on, hold on, don't, 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 don't jump me. Hold on, come on, I'll let you speak, family. Because y'all, come on, bro. I'll let you speak. But listen, you got to say that, though. I'll let you speak. You know for sure that God, Jesus Christ's name is not in the New Testament, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you go on, it's Jesus Christ's name in the New Testament. Come on, come on. It's Jesus Christ's name. The name that you're using in, in the Old Testament is the name in the New Testament. Just answer that question. No, you mean it's the name that's in the New Testament. Hold up, hold up, bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up. 
I'm going to let you speak out of respect, so let me finish. I'm just trying to deal with you, bro. You got a lot of fire in you, but you got to relax. I'm talking about, no, 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 Hold up, hold up. Y'all talking about all this, but this ain't African-American history at all, bro. Let me ask you a question. The name African-American, where it come from? I mean, it come from the guy who took over Africa. His name, what is that? Africanus. Hey, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, African so you talking about an African-American. We ain't African-American. Yeah. Yeah. We the children of Israel. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to show you. Now, so hold, up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Our homeland is Jerusalem. Right. My homeland is America. Really? No, that's not your America. homeland. You was broke here. They had Indians in this land before Africans was walking. Exactly, but what was that? But hold up, hold up. Based on what the brothers did. Hold up, bro, hold up, bro. Damn, just. Chill for a minute. Let me say something. You I'm a teacher. Too. I'm you understand? Listen, bro. listen, just be quiet and listen for a minute. I'm, when you was talking, I shook your hand, I let you speak, and I told you, hey, you got a lot of fire in your chest for your people, and I congratulated you on that. But right. you got so much fire that it's not a cause of you to listen. Right. And by you not listening, you're going to miss out on salvation. Yeah. Just relax for a minute. See, that's Read that it. white man talk. No, you want to tell me we about you want to, I know we brothers, but here's what so, I'm saying. Give me not a because bit, I'm uh, not part uh, of y'all clan. I'm going to hell. No, I didn't say no, that. No, but you, I didn't you, say you, that. you put me. Here's see, what you're saying. See, hold on, hold on. You're saying you that y'all are the most hold chosen on, people in the world. Y'all the chosen we, people of the world. We, you we too. the chosen people. You but too. We so chosen. Fish we live Bible. in poverty. Uh, uh, man, y'all don't know where y'all at. Uh, man, this Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The book of the This is the first slave state. This is the first slave state, man. When the white man came over here, when the white man came over here, he settled in New Orleans. You believe in the Old Testament, right? Man, I don't believe in What that mean? Keep thy foot when thou goest into the house of God. The Bible said keep your foot when you go to the house of God. Well, you want real knowledge? Because you don't go in the schoolhouse and over talk to teachers. You don't go to the courtroom and tell the judge set up and let you speak. You be quiet and you let him say his point. When the lawyer is speaking on your behalf, you don't know nothing about the law, so you're not going to go represent yourself Man. in no uh, murder case. You're going to let the lawyer on your behalf lawyer. say that. You, you, know I mean? you know how many Read. people misrepresent our people? The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 1. <laughs> Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. The Bible said, keep your foot when you go to the house of God. Brothers and sisters, understand something. We come out here to bad rules. We ain't your Christian church. Right. Right. We ain't come out. Hey, listen, we ain't come out here to be taught. We come out here to teach. Because right. Baton Rouge, Louisiana is one of the worst cities in America. Right. Baton Rouge, Louisiana is murdering, drug dealing, gang banging. Y'all got a church on every corner of your communities. It's tore down and broke. Right. Why? Because your pastor's teaching you lies. They teach you lies in the Muslim mosque. The white man gave you his last name and you keep it. All these things happen to us because we broke God's commandments. So now God telling you, when you come to the foot, when you come before a black man that looks just like you, that got knowledge, the Bible says, shut your mouth so you can learn. Read it again. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 1. I'm going to show it. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. When it said keep your foot, meaning keep that stuff you learn over there. Right. When you come to stand before the man of the most high, who wrote he be your quiet. Book, man? The black who man. Who wrote your black book? Man. King James. No, man. Ain't no Silent. King James, bro. Hey, hey, man. Read the book hey, or shut yeah, that no, book. Stop. Yeah, Let you don't want to talk about that. No, no, no. You talk about the fucking no, no, publisher. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about, about King James. I'm going to talk about it. He was a murderer. He was a slave owner. You don't know that. See, you don't know nothing. You don't know nothing about King James. First of all, King James was the king of Scotland for 33 years. He became the king of England. King James was a black man. King James ruled during the Dark Ages. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Come around the side, bro. Come around the side, bro. Come around the side. Four man count, man. Eyes up, man. Hey, man, you ain't nobody for the fight. You just got to come around here to the fight, bro. That's what we trying to tell y'all. That's why, hey, this is what's wrong with Bad Rules right here. Bad Rules getting the word of God for the first time in a long time right now. Bad Rules getting the true word of God. Black men come out here and teach the true word of God to raise you up. But brothers and sisters, many of y'all don't want that. The white man done pushed you down so far that you cannot accept correction from your own brother. Right. That's the problem. The Bible says this. Read it again, bro. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. When you come up here to stand before the prophets of God, you're supposed to shut your mouth. When you go into the, the judge, when you go see the judge at the court, you ain't talking. Right. When the police sergeant pull you over, you ain't talking. They even tell you anything that's, that you say can be used against you in the court of law, and you keep your mouth shut. That's right. When you come and stand before your brothers, the men of God, you keep your mouth shut so you can learn. If you got questions, you ask. But if you think you're going to come up here and teach us something about white Jesus, that we, on our way, that we ain't already heard from our slave master, we don't want to hear that crap. Right. Read. And 
right. be more ready to hear. The Bible said, that's what we say right here. This is what this brother got a problem with right here. The Bible said, be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of food. That's what you see right here. This brother giving the sacrifice of fools. Everything he's saying ain't relevant. The stuff you're saying, brother, ain't relevant. Where your friends is at? Why you cutting your beard? I got people I can put you out here right now. I come in now. Hey, hey, I tell you, hold Hey, let me say this. Call all your homeboys and tell them. Call all your friends, all your pastors, all your influential speakers, all your rappers in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and tell them pull up right now. Why you reading? And we gonna give them the word of God. Come straight from the library. And don't know what they're talking about. King James, a black man. Give me that real quick. You don't know King James. Joe, thirty and thirty. I don't know what you're talking about. That's how I know you don't know what you're talking Jesus. about, bro. You emotional, you emotional, and you are not logical. The book of Job, exactly. And you've been emotional on me reading over a book. That's why I mean you emotional. Read. The book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 30. My skin is black upon me. Hey, look, bro, in the back seat. The sister right there. You hear what the Bible said? This is the prophet Job. Listen what Job said about how he looked. Read. Job chapter 30 and verse 30. My skin is black upon me. Job ain't no white man. That's right. Job said I'm black. I'm dark skinned. That's right. King Solomon said the same thing. Saul of Solomon 1 and 5. Brother gonna come up here and tell us King James wrote the Bible. King James authorized the Bible to be translated into English. Know your history. Right. King James was the black man that ruled during the Dark Ages. See? The Dark Ages is when black people ruled the planet Earth. Yeah. Right. Right. Learn some history before you come up here talking. Read the book of the Song of Solomon, chapter one and verse five. I am black. King Solomon said, "What about himself?" I am black. King Solomon said, "I am." Black. Yes. King Solomon was a black man, brother. That's what you right. I am black, but comely. Black and beautiful. Because black is beautiful. Right. But in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, many of these sisters hate their skin. Right. Some of these sisters put all thick layers of makeup and their neck is a different color from their face. Why they hate their skin so much? Why you hate your hair so much? Why you gonna put Brazilian wave extensions in your hair down to the floor when your hair the greatest hair on the planet Earth? Yes. Right. Why you gotta pound your face with four or five layers of makeup when your face already perfect, your skin already oily and smooth? You destroying yourself. It's because you don't see King Solomon in yourself. You don't see Job in yourself. Read. I am black, but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. So the Bible says, I am black. King Solomon, brother over there and, and the Toyota Camry. King Solomon, a black man, my brother. King Solomon was black. Jesus Christ black. God black. The God of heaven and earth is black. Hey, can we move this? I don't need no set. We, we straight, but we got the people got to see us. They can't see us. The people, we need to be out in front of the I don't need it. I ain't, we, I'm straight. If somebody can't move this for me. You understand what I'm saying, family? The Bible say King Solomon was a black man. So here it is. The white man told you King Solomon was a white man. He told you Jesus was a white man. But that ain't in the Bible, family. The Bible don't say that. So now we need to figure out why the hell they been lying to us all these years. Why the hell they tell us Jesus Christ was a white man and the Bible don't say that? It's because they want you to be uh, ignorant to who you truly are. Right. You the people of God. Give me Psalms chapter 83 and verse 2. Psalms chapter 83 verse 2. Listen to this scripture, fam, before you leave. Listen to this scripture. I want you to hear this, bro. Watch what God say. Come on. The book of Psalms chapter 83 and verse 2. Come Bring on. It up. Hello. Thine enemies make a tumult. God said he got enemies. God's enemies make a tumult. A tumult is a large gathering. People gathering together like a council. Come on. And they that hate thee have lift up the head. God says people on earth that hate him. There are other races of people on this planet earth that hate the God of this Bible. Watch this. Read. They are taking crafty counsel against thy people. You hear that? It said they're taking crafty counsel. What's one of the crafty counsel? They put pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster in our neighborhood knowing it destroy our bodies. Every last one of us know that iodine from shrimp destroy our bodies. Every last one of us know that chitlins is pig intestines, but we eat it every Thanksgiving. We know that this weed bad for us. We know that all this liquor bad for us. These cigarillos and cigarettes bad for us, but yet we still smoke it. But who put that in our community, bro? Why would you go into the pharmacy, the medicine in the back, but the cigarettes in the front? Why is that? It's because they want you to destroy yourself. 
they take it craft and counsel. Why is it there's an abortion clinic in all the black neighborhoods in America? Right, bring it out, Cap. Ain't no abortion clinic in the white man neighborhood. Right. Ain't no abortion clinic in the Arab na man neighborhood. The right. Arabs coming to in your community on the stove, you ain't know where the hell he live at. Right. But he know where you live because he see you walk from your house every single day to come buy stuff from him. That's what we're trying to show you. These nations have put crafty counsel against God people. Hey, fam, hold on, hold on, hold on before you pull off. Hold up, bro. Come here to word of God real quick. Yo, young bro, you need this too. Come here. I need to talk to you, young king. I need to talk to you. You ain't got nothing to do that's more important than this. I pay bills, cuz. If we all pay bills, what the hell they got to do with anything? We all pay bills. You ain't gonna go make no money right now. You better go spend some money with the Arab. You better go in the Arab man store and spend some money. But you talking about you making money. You got bills to pay. You going to pay his ass. Right. Read the scripture, man. They are taking crafty counsel against thy people. So guess what? Sister right here. Sister right here driving the car. They about to pull off. Y'all brothers and sisters in Baton Rouge understand something. Your enemies have taken crafty counsel against you. They sit back and think of ways to plot and destroy you. Read. And consulted against thy hidden ones. What do you mean the hidden ones? Y'all been hid from the world. Y'all been hid. All this time, you know, they been hiding y'all hiding y'all in the ghettos. Hiding y'all in prison houses. This whole time, everybody been thinking we the scum of the earth. We below everybody. But meanwhile, we the greatest people to ever touch this planet Earth. That's right. You just ain't been taught. That's why you shoot your brother down. Right. Have you talking about you love God? How you gonna love God but you kill your own brother? Baton Rouge got one of the highest murder rate. Baton Rouge and Jackson, Mississippi, where I'm from, are equivalent. Right. It's the exact same city on two in two different states. Same exact city. Watch this, read. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. They said we're gonna cut them off from being a nation. How they cut you off from being a nation? First of all, they told you you was African-American. That ain't in the Bible. They told you you were Hispanic. That ain't in the Bible. They gave you their last name. When you came over here, you had a last name. They took it from you. When you came over here, you spoke a language. So now you coming on out. Now we can talk. Now my brother gonna give me time. Now he gonna be a man of his word, and he gonna give me a few minutes. Okay, I'll praise. Come on up, give me a few minutes. You gotta pass right by us. This ain't no coincidence you out here, fam. This ain't no coincidence God brought you here. Come on out of us real quick, bro. Give us two minutes. Watch this car right here, they can't see you. Okay, all right, all right. What's your name, fam? What's your name? Scott. Scott? Okay, Joshua Scott, you say it was? Okay, Joshua's a biblical man. Let me ask you something. What's your nationality according to the Bible? Your race. What they say to you? What they say you are, what they say your nationality is. They say black, right? But your shirt black, you ain't that color. You brown. The pants black. We ain't this color, we ain't the color of this. So that's just a, that's a, that's not a race. That's just a, a color in the crayon box. So what's your race? I don't know. Look at this sign right here. So on this sign right here, Af American black, so African American, that's what they call us, right? The Bible say Judah. You see that? What does Judah mean? Because African American, that's two different white men. The Scipio Africanus and America Vest Beach. So what does Judah mean? Ju no, Judah means God's praise. We showing you on the right side of that sign, that's what God called it. Well, on your right, my left, right? Um, that's what the uh, so-called white man called us, American black. On the other side, Judah, that's what God called us, right? So why did they take our name from being Judah and give us another name? Why they take our name from me? If, if I name Judah, why you take it from us? They hate. Huh? They hate. You said they hate. Okay, yeah, you're right about that. Watch this, read. They have taken crafty counsel. Yes, sir. Psalms chapter 83 and verse 3. They are taking crafty counsel against thy people. When the Bible talking about they, it's talking about the other nations. Like the Arabs, so-called white man, the Chinese, all these nations, America in particular, it said they have taken crafty counsel. I mean, they came together and they thought of ways to destroy the black community. Like uh, HIV and AIDS. You know, that was created, right? Didn't nobody have no sex with no monkey in Africa and that's where AIDS came from. The so-called white man made that. Just like he made the coronavirus. Did you know that? The coronavirus was manufactured. And all these people dying and he made sure what community it hit the worst. He made sure it hit the black community the worst. That's what the Bible telling you right here. Crafty counsel against our people. Read. And consulted against thy hidden ones. You know what I mean, hidden ones? Because the world don't call us Judah. When people in Russia see us on TV, they say, oh, them black African Americans. When people in China see us over here on our rap videos and us playing basketball, they say, oh, yes, them black African Americans. 
They don't say, oh, no, them the Judites. Them right. the people, them the people of Judah, them the people of God. Why? Because they done cut us off from being a nation. Right. They took our name from us and gave us their names. Watch this, read. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Now, how you cut somebody off from being a nation? Master, how you cut a race of people off from being a people? What do you have to do to them? Right here. Watch this, look at it. You're right. Change what they believe in. Look at this right here. So look, if I don't want you to call yourself African American, or I don't want you to call yourself, thank you, thank you, Austin. If I don't want you to call yourself children of Israel no more, what I'm gonna do to you? I'm gonna put chains on your neck. If you run away, I'm gonna put a, 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 a bar around your neck. Did they do that to us? That happened to us, right? If I don't want you to know who you are, I'm gonna sell you to the highest bidder, and you gonna take his last name. So if, if her name Johnson, and she buy you, what the slave name come become? If she a Baptist, what he gotta become? See that? You see how we got religion? You see how we got our name? It's because they cut us off from being a nation. Look what they did. What they say? Cash. All persons that have slaves to dispose of will be will do well in giving me a call, as I will give the highest price for men, women, and children. Any person that wishes to sell call will call at Hills Tavern or at Shady Hill for me. See this dude right here named Thomas Griggs. That was in 1835. 30 years before so-called slavery was abolished, they were still buying our ancestors. And then we was getting, so if the Griggs family brought you, what's your land name become? So guess what, your land name's Scott, right? Who bought your family? The Scots. Your name wasn't that when you got over here? Right. You see what I'm saying? So the Scots bought your family and they gave you that name. So read the Bible again, the Bible truth, read it again. They have said, come and let us cut them off for being a nation Watch this, that, that, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That the name of Israel shall be no more in remembrance. So Israel, what does it mean? Because you heard it before, right? You heard Israel before. Did you know that that was a man name? That the name Israel come from a man? A black man? Whose name was Jacob? Alright, now look. You understand? Yeah. The name was Jacob. Nah. Now watch this. What was about to say? I gave you about four minutes. You giving God? Go. Now you giving God time? You giving God time? Hey, bro, put them drugs down. Now stop smoking that weed, bro. The file of your tub, you destroy yourself. Look at it, destroying itself. That's why our jeans are all tight. We wearing choker necklaces, about to choke our damn self like a woman. Right. All that stuff come from what? That effeminate weed y'all smoking. That weed y'all smoking out here in Baton Rouge is making your men effeminate. That's why some of you men walk around here with breasts. Because it's, it's raising up your est, est, what's it called, estrogen. Yes, and it's diminishing your testosterone. That's why women getting hair under their chin, hair on their chest, and they wonder what the hell going on. It's that weed you smoke. That weed you smoking is destroying your temple, destroying your body. So what we read with the brother, read that again. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. They said, come let us cut them off from being a nation. Watch this, read. That the name of Israel. That the name of Israel. They want your name, Israel, to be changed. Come on. May be no more in remembrance. And guess what? Don't none of y'all remember your name. If I ask any of you brothers and sisters what your name is, you're going to give me the slave master last name that was given to your ancestor. You're not going to tell me, oh, I'm an Israelite. I'm a my, my, hey, family. Let me ask you a question. What's your last name? Or what was the name given to your family? Like what was your, like Johnson, right? Johnson is the name that was given to our ancestor by the slave master, right? When we came over here from Africa, our name wasn't no damn Johnson. Our name wasn't no Scott, no Williams. They gave us that. So the Bible talk about that. Read that part again. They have said, come and let us cut them out from being a nation. The other nations, the so-called white man, when he brought us in slavery, he said, let us cut them off from being a nation. He want to cut us off from knowing who we truly are. Watch what he said. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. They want to make sure the name of Israel is no more in remembrance. So I asked the brother right here before he walked away, what does Israel mean? The Bible going to tell you, Genesis 32, 28. The book of Genesis chapter 32 and verse 28. Watch And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. You hear that? He said, your name ain't going to be called Jacob no more. Talking to our ancestors. Jacob was the son of Isaac, was the son of Abraham, right? Read. But Israel. You hear that? The angel changed Jacob's name from Jacob, which means to supplant, to Israel. Now, what does Israel mean? Read. For as a prince, thou hast power, hast thou power with God. You hear what, what Israel mean? It means a prince that has power with God. Yes, 
So the white man gave you the name Johnson because it ain't got no power. He gave you the name African American because it ain't got no power. But the name Israel, it's got power, bro. What? That's, That's right. why they changed your name. That's why they put you in chains, put you in shackles, made you Christian, made you Muslim, because they want to make sure they cut you off from your true name, which is Israel. So you got to ask yourself, if we've been through all this as a people, how we got power with God? What does that mean? How we got power with God? Why he say that? Deuteronomy 28. Right? Because that's what you should be asking. You should say, okay, all right. So I hear what you're saying, brother. The Bible say Israel mean a prince or a princess that have power with God. But the way I've been growing up in my community, it don't like we got no power with God. The white man shoot us down the streets. Alton, what, Alton Sterling, when he right here in Baton Rouge? Brother got choked out. You understand? Shot. Mike Brown. All these things. And you say, how we got power with God and all this stuff happening to us? Right. Let me show you. Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 1. Watch this real quick, family. Read. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So, Brother Reginald, Reginald, right? I saw it on your shirt. <laughs> so, Brother Reginald, I'm getting a liar. Captain, get a liar. I U I C. It's reunited in Christ. It's my name. Get a liar, bro. So, I'm talking to you and my brother across the street with the dreads. So, we're reading about Moses. When you read the Bible, it is literal. When we read, it is literal. But he was talking to them back then. When, the, when God says something in the past and it comes true in the future, that's called prophecy. So God talking about prophecy right here. He's talking about the children of Israel, our people. Watch this, read. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Watch this. To observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. You hear that? God told us that we kept the commandments. He will set us on high above all nations. What does that look like? You got your own government. Right. You got your own military. Right. You got your own banks. Right. You got your own food supply, your right. own water, your own businesses. God said if we had kept the commandments, we would be ruling all the world. That's right. But since we broke God's commandments, go to the flip side, verse 15. Watch this part. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Watch this. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said, but this the flip side. If you decide that you not. All his commandments and his statutes, it, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. He said, if you don't listen, curses going to come upon you and overtake you. Now you got to ask yourself a question. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, right? But some people come up to and say ignorant stuff, Brother Reginald. They'll say stuff like, oh, curse is good and bad. I'm like, what? I ain't never seen a bad, a good curse. Now watch this. Read verse 16. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. You hear that, Brother Reginald? He said, curse shall thou be in the city. I want you to turn around and look at your city. Oh, yeah. You see your city? Nigga, you from here, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm from Mississippi, but Jackson, Mississippi, where I live here. Oh, yeah. Jackson works. looks just like this. Yes, it works. Baton Rouge and Jackson is identical. They twin right. sisters. Identical. They look just alike. What uh, future had that song, Twin Sisters? It looks just like everything. Crime, HIV rate, murder, everything. Same exact thing. So God said, look, you break the commandments, I'm going to make sure the city you live in is cursed. You're not going to live in the best parts of town. You're going to live in the parts of town that's poverty stricken. Now, some of us may get out of the hood because we work hard. A majority of our brothers and sisters, where they live at? See, you can get out of the hood, but if you don't get the hood out of you, Thank you, you might well stay in the hood. Thank right? you. That's what happened with the children of Israel. They couldn't get Egypt out of them. So they was able to, that's why they wondered the, the years they Before did. Before the year in the wilderness. Exactly. So you because got some wisdom. You got to get this out of you. Right. Yeah, in order so, for you to really reap what he had for you, in order for you to get the blessing. So who, who was those children of Israel? Who was those people? What do you mean, who were they? Who were they? They were the children of God. We were they. Thank you. That's what I want to hear you say. Oh, yeah. And guess what? The same thing we were doing back then, we're doing the same thing now, Brother Reggie. Ain't nothing new. We still rebellious. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 
144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.